So we're going to talk about friction now. All right, we know that friction is a force. All right. <clears throat> friction depends on, again, remember we talked about friction depends on the two surfaces as they slide across each other. Right? The two surfaces interact, and those bumps, they hit each other, and they cause some sort of opposition force, oppositional force. All right? Because it's caused between, again, those two surfaces sliding across each other. Friction is typically directed opposite your motion. So that means if you move to the right, friction is moving to the left. All right, and if you move to the left, friction is going to be directed to the right. All right, friction is usually a force that is trying to hurt your motion or slow you down, something like that. There are some times when friction is helpful and friction is useful, uh, but typically friction is a force that is working against you. Like to start fire. To start fire, that's a good one, right? Because friction, it's a force that, you know, opposes your motion, but it also, um, it also generates heat, right? When you're cold, you rub your hands, right? And the interaction between the two surfaces, right, creates, is friction, but it also creates heat, okay? There are two types of friction. The first is static friction. Static friction occurs, well, you, we talked about this already. When does static friction occur? Right, when you're stopped. The other is kinetic friction. Right, kinetic friction occurs when you're moving. Okay, so when you're moving, that's when you get your kinetic friction. There are two different types of friction, but they follow the same equation, all right? We know that friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force, okay? Coefficient of friction, we pronounce it mu. It's a Greek letter mu. It's kind of like a script u, okay? Mu is just a number that you can look up in a chart. It's not an M. It's like a script U. It's a Greek letter mu. M-U is the way you spell it. Okay? That is the coefficient of friction. So the mu is the coefficient of friction. That gives you an idea of how much friction is going to occur between two surfaces. Friction is F. Mu is the coefficient of friction. N is the normal force. I'm trying to explain that. That's where I'm going right now. So mu, again, is coefficient of friction. It tells you how much friction is between two surfaces. It's a number that you would look up in a chart or it's given to you, or if you have enough information, you can, you can calculate it. Okay? The higher the number you have for mu, the greater the friction there is between the surfaces. The lower the number, the less friction there is. All right? Mu needs to be, is typically... Less than or equal to 1. All right? So you'll usually, 99% of the time, you'll see mu, and it needs to be a number, a decimal less than 1. Okay? And the, there are, this is like, maybe two or three rare instances in the world where you have a kinetic, uh, I'm sorry, you have a coefficient of friction greater than 1. All right? Depends on the materials. Okay? Mu, oh, no, and normal force. So what would that mean if it was greater than 1? It would mean that friction is greater than the normal force. So like, what would that do? Just, it just increases the friction. That's all. Okay. It would just like make something stop faster? Yeah. yeah. So the difference between static and kinetic, again, is when they're stopped and when it's moving. But static... All right, it's a, it's a friction that you first incur, uh, experience. All right, so that means when you start to push something, all right, that means that you're experiencing, you're working against that static friction. All right, 
Static friction, the mu of static friction, mu sub s, is greater than or equal to the kinetic friction, mu sub k. All right, so that's why it's harder to get something started pushing, moving, as opposed to when it's already going. Does that make sense? Okay, that's because the coefficient of friction of static friction is greater than the coefficient for kinetic friction. Okay, does that make sense? You follow me? Good? Okay, and again, this, is, this mu is just a number that is usually given to you. You can look it up in a book. All right, because with static friction, again, those surfaces, when they're stopped, they get to, like, get, they get to dig down deep into each other and really lock in. And you have to overcome that. Whereas with the kinetic friction, it's already, they're up a little bit, right? And they're not as, as uh, interactive. So it's easier to push something with, with, uh, when it's kinetic friction when it's already going. Okay? Friction's not too difficult. Make sense? Right? 